Hey everybody, welcome back. Anthony Dodge here, the Model Train Outsider, the Miracle Outsider. And speaking of Miracle, we're going to take a quick look at this new set right here, which you saw in my Monday mail call video. This is the Munich Nuremberg Express. And in earlier videos, I was saying I thought these might be Silberlingas. Now, Silberlingas were uh, passenger cars, occasionally used in high speed trains back. Uh, I think, well, they're still around. I shouldn't try to give you a time period. They're still around. They're still used as regional traffic. Uh, but they're not Silberlingas uh, repainted into the Deutsche Bahn Red. These are basically IC cars, EC cars, uh, inner city and uh, Euro city, Euro firma cars, I believe is the correct term uh, uh, from EFO. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to um, open this up, put on the uh, put them on the track. There's no running them in or anything like that. Uh, they'll just need a little bit of oil on the axles uh, before we run them. But uh, the one thing I'll mention is this does, uh, the Steuerwagen, the control cab, uh, does come with a decoder in and of itself, uh, which has to be loaded into the Central Station 3, so we'll do that and uh, it controls the lights on these vehicles. Now, this is the four-car set. A two-car set will follow in probably a couple of weeks to a month. They tend to space it out. And so uh, let's get this uh, Munich Nuremberg Express on the layout and just take a quick look at the cars, okay? Be right back. Okay, so here is the four-car set up on the layout. We'll come in for a closer look. So these are Euroforma coaches and very nice detailed lettering. The cars do light up. The signage when all completed is also to light up, but you can see here, excellent display there. That all comes in nice and clear. Good lettering all the way through, and we will come around to the Steuerwagen, the control cab, and it has directional lighting. We'll switch it, and you can see forward. And uh, trying to get the light in, but you can see now it has the forward headlights going. It does have the Bundesbahn Bayern sign on it. Uh, look inside the cab details. Obviously, standard monochromatic. Uh, some companies do put a little extra effort and try to give seat covers in that, slightly different colors. And uh, that's nice when they do that. I just turned the uh, light off on the camera. But nicely detailed, just again, it has that monochromatic. And as mentioned uh, in the other video, a lot of people will take these apart and paint the seats and the tables to look more. Um, I have seen some UK companies that do it themselves, and they do charge a bit more. But uh, overall, now I have in fact ridden the Munich Nuremberg Express. So it fits in. So what we'll do is just hook this up. I'm going to hook it up to a class 101, which is a high speed locomotive. And these are high speed cars. And uh, we'll just watch them go around. Again, this is not a locomotive where we have to go through too many motions. So we'll see it in action. All right, so as mentioned, I've hooked it up to a Class 101 locomotive, and we're going to go ahead and put everything in motion and just watch these cars go around. And uh, then I will actually shut the lights out for a bit, and you can see the lighting in the cars, although the lights will be on as it runs right now. We will 
come and catch it around here into the undeveloped part of the layout. I'm coming around the corner here. And let's go ahead and turn the lights off and catch it again. Okay, so I haven't turned what little lighting I have on the layout. But these have the closed coupling, current conducting closed couplers. Very little gap between those uh, cars. Not a lot of light bleed of the lights through the plastic of the shells. Definitely very bright lights coming out of the windows that you can see reflected. And we will just catch this coming around and see the control tab all lit up nicely. Okay. Okay. So there was just a quick look at the Merklin 42988 uh, München Nürnberg or Munich Nuremberg Express train. Nice lighting, good looking cars, well detailed for what they are, uh, and they aren't cheap. Again, I would like to see all the companies if possible again cost isn't always an issue you ask for more stuff you're going to pay more a uh, little more work on the coloring on the interiors get them a little bit but if you're going to go through and put passengers in maybe it's not that big a deal and that's just a small personal thing and there's nothing that stops me from opening them up and painting them myself if it were that big an issue so I hope you enjoyed this quick look at uh, this little four car set there are two more cars to be added on and we'll look at those when they come in, but we won't do another video. Uh, overall, quite pleased with this, and it, even if it is specifically a train that doesn't run in Delman Horse, uh, it still can be used as a um, car, and who knows, maybe I'll keep using those ESUs, although I really am looking at replacing them. So until the next video, I will say, I'll be the Zane Choose, and happy trains. Take care, everyone.